Uh, Shalom Akim, the Reverend Ratazza Allah from JMS London Camp. First and foremost, give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kodash, Rakata. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, who teach and rule well, and blessings unto the sincere Akim out there throughout the four winds, waiting to be delivered out of this hellhole called Babylon the Great. AKA the Americas, man, the hopeful elect, man, you know, Bakaya Kodash, that's the holy elect in the ancient Hebrew. So, just come across this um, trailer, man, for this blasphemous film, this movie that these devils are just pushing out right now, because you know, you know, the scriptures is the main hot topic out here, man, you know, you know, these, this is the greatest story never, never told about who the true Hebrew Israelites are, man. That's the greatest history on the planet of the Hebrew Israelites, man, of the of the children of the Lord of the Lord, of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and the stories of the Bible, man. Those are the greatest stories and histories never um never really been told, you know. But um, you know, these devils they know this. And that's why they keep stealing things from the scriptures and putting, you know, so called in getting inspiration to make movies and all that and now they're coming out with this version of you know a woman's perspective of what Mary Magdalene you know you know pushing that feminism and with that that liberty of the woman man with that madness you know to portray her in like a um, you know in that, in that light man you know like above the man basically you know how these devils are they especially these so called rat Jews they put the woman over the man so um I just came across this trailer, man. It's called Mary Magdalene, and as you can see from the trip from the trailer, you got a few characters in there. You know, you got a few Jakes in there, and one or two. You know, you got Cheatwell. Well, I can't pronounce his whole name properly, but he was the brother that played um, Solomon Northup in. Um, come back, man. He played Solomon Northup basically in a. Twelve years of slavery, as you can see in that clip there, and you can see the other Jake in the corner, which is supposed to be Andrew, and Shitwell is playing Peter, showing you that these devils know that the children of Israel are really men of color, and they just want to portray the m m most of the time that majority of the pro prophets and the apostles and the children of Israel, so-called Edomites, man, and with leprosy, man, and you know you got Jake, you got I don't know if that guy's a Jake. Um, I think his name is Jack Queen, and he played Commodus. His brothers know in Gladiator he played Commodus, and he's supposed to be of Puerto Rican descent. And in his film, he's playing Lord Yahweh Shai, who they ignorantly, who ignorantly called Jesus Christ. You know, that's him right there. He's supposed to be playing the Lord, but he's supposed to be of Puerto Rican descent. And I don't know whether it's on his father or on his mother's side, but he could be a Tear or he could be a Jake. Who knows, man? But he probably is a Jake because when, when he was um, playing Commodus, you know, he played that role to a T, man. In Gladiator with um, my man Russell Crowe and all that, you know, Maximus and all these things. So anyway, yeah, man, these devils are playing games, man. But the truth's coming to light, man. Like the scriptures say, man, that at the end of this thing, come to the end of this world, Esau's world, that the truth shall flourish, man. You know. And and it's it's gonna be it's gonna be um you know it's just gonna go off the 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 hinges around the four winds and it has because you know we got the men of the Lord out there of Great Millstone, the true men of the Lord, and the men on down elders and men on down to the younger brothers like myself, that's that believe in this faith wholeheartedly, man. That believe in this truth, believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and his return, man. And he's gonna he's gonna come and um, deliver his elect very soon, man. And he's going to destroy the wicked, our enemies, man. Namely, the so-called white man, man. He's Esau, the Bible, man. Because of these butchery and these blasphemies. The scripture said that this devil will speak many blasphemies, you know. So, this devil's got to pay for all that, man. And all the whitewashing, iconoclasm and all that, man. Because the scriptures say in Revelations 11th chapter, that our Lord will be crucified again. Not literally, but a figure of speech, metaphorically, metaphorically, as in terms of the you know whitewashing and you know the um, the downtrodden of the true image of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai or Yahweh Shai, 
and his father, heavenly and the heavenly father Yahweh, man, because they put portray Yahweh and Yahweh Shai's so called Edomites, man. No, not so called Edomites, so called white men, like yeah. Le leprosy, man, which in the scriptures, leprosy is a damn curse, man. You know, going back to Cain. So, you know, these devils got to pay for all that, man. All these, those abominations, all them blasphemies, man. And blasphemies can't be forgiven, but Esau ain't going to be forgiven anyway. I mean, you got some Edomite playing Mary Magdalene, you know, Rooney, Rooney Mara, whatever her, her name is, you know. But, you know, these things, these things have got to be cleared up, man. And like I said, man, they're, they're, putting the, they're trying to put the Lord in a bad light most of the time. But the truth, the truth can't be hidden no more, man. It's the end of Esau's kingdom, so the truth is going to flourish, as I said. This is Revelations 11 and 8. It says, And the dead body shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Because that's the lifestyles and a t t type of, type of um, a way of life that they promote out here, man. Witchcraft and flipping homosexual and lesbian acts, man. And bestiality and all that, man. Which derives from those two hermetic um, kingdoms, man. It says, where also our Lord was crucified. This is, um, yeah, so where our Lord was crucified. Why? Because America is the same place where they said they're God friend and all that. So called Christians. But they ain't really Christians, man. They ain't, they ain't really they're anointed anyway. They're a bunch of, you know, hypocrites, man. But they, 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 they crucify the Lord by whitewashing his image and putting him, you know, portraying him as a so called eat, um, as a so-called white man, man, you know, downtrodden the name of the Lord, you know, downtrodden his image and downtrodden his his true being, man, you know, and these these top elites know exactly how the Lord, you know, what he was about and how and how he really looked according to the scriptures, but you know they they don't care. They just want to you know put push push their agenda, you know, for their so-called new world order, man. But they're gonna have to pay, man. You have to pay for all these, bla these blasphemies, man, and speaking against the word of the Lord and betraying him, him, um, his, the Heavenly Father and His Son in the bad light. You have to pay, man. It's time to pay the piper. And this is how the Lord really looked. You know, you've got Peter and John, which were, sort of, which were brothers, which are men of the Lord, but they were, were, were the apostles. And they got those two as so called black men, you know, men of color in the film. As I mentioned, I think the other guy, the one that played um, Andrew, his name is Babiola, or something like that, if I'm pronouncing it r r properly. And then you got Chitwell, man, who's playing Peter. And he's supposed to be the rock that the Lord, you know, bestowed the church upon, man, to build a church. Showing you that there was men of colour, man, that the Israelites are men of colour. Even the Lord himself. This is Revelations 1 and 13, it says, And in the midst of seven candlesticks, of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, so another word for um, um, Yahweh Shai. This is clothed with um, a garment down to the foot and girt around the, about the paps with a golden girdle. It said his head and his hairs were white like wool. And any time they portray the Lord, they always portray him with that dog, dog stringy, you know, blonde or brown hair, you know. And that's just off, man. The only thing they ever put on the Lord's face is a beard. But other than that, they always portray him as a so-called look, looking dirty and all that, as you can see from the film clip and trailers and all that, like he was dirty and, you know, just downtrodden the Lord, man. You know, but, you know, these devils are going to pay. And he says his head was white like wool, so the, all the hair on his head to the hair on his beard was all white, man. The hoary head, as they, so, 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 as they say. He says, as, uh, as white as snow. This is a full grey set of hair, you know. It says, and which displays his wisdom, you know. And it says, and his eyes were of the flame of fire, and they never portrayed the Lord with um, those red, uh, you know, red glowing eyes. They never portrayed the Lord like that, because that's too fierce, man. You know, portraying the Lord in his in his real light, in his real image, to the whole world is too fierce, man, and too scary. Because why? Because those are the same people you put in chains, man. You put a yoke of iron around their neck, you know, and had them flipping slaving. In your wicked ass kingdom for the past four, four hundred to five hundred years, man. Even unto this day, the scriptures say, even this, to this day, we are yet still in our captivity, man. You know. So they don't want to. They don't want to portray that because then that means 
they're there in for a shit stew, man. Because you put the Lord's people in chains. So what do you think the Lord's going to do when he comes back? You actually crucified, you actually, you Edomites actually put your hands on the Lord and you crucified him man, 2,000 years ago. So what do you think the Lord's going to do and you find out he's a so-called black man and he pops out of them skies with a whole heap of angels and they're black so-called black men too, with big afros, man. You're, you're in for a shit stew, man. You're in for a shit storm, man. Of total destruction, man. Which is coming. So the scriptures say the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. So the Lord's coming very soon, man. You know, the lights, right? The, 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 as a, you know, like the traffic lights. You have a traffic light that's on them red, and then it goes to yellow and green or amber and all that. Right now it's in between, man. But soon it's gonna go to that green light. From the heavenly Father, your house is gonna give the the go ahead, man. And it's gonna be all hell breaking loose on you devils, man. Just roughly, uh, metaphorically f phrasing, man. You know, as an anal analogy of when the Lord comes, He's gonna come fierce, man, with the swiftness as well. You know, pure power, man. Pure power, real power, man. It says, and his feet were like unto fine brass, as if they burnt in a furnace. So when you take brass, it's usually just like bronze or whatever. But that's another way of saying brass is bronze. So you took that in the burn that in the furnace. That'll come charcoal black, man. You know, charcoal black, very dark, man, and shiny, just like the Lord's complexion, man. And so his voice is as the sound of many waters. And any time you, you hear the Lord, or they portray the Lord in any of these movies, man, they always try and give him that fluff voice, man, like he was a tooth fairy or something. You devil's got hell to pay, man. You know, you got, you got hell to pay, man. In verse 16, and he said, and, he's, and he had in his right hand the seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was as the sun, Shineth in his strength, man. So you, you, you devils, man. You, you don't, you in, as I said, you're in for a shit storm, man. When the Lord returns, man, and you people finally see that the Lord is so-called black man, a man of color. You know, he's got men in, him, man. Not no damn leprosy, man. Which is a curse in the Bible, man. A curse unto the wicked. This is Job nine and twenty-four. I'm gonna close out on this. It says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So who's going around the whole earth, you know, iconoclizing and whitewashing images, man, the true biblical Israelites, man, you know, the divine right of kings from the dark ages all up until now, man. Even back to the Greeks, they said that they would like to pick the lines of their images, you know. These you so-called white people, man. There's no one else on the planet that does that. You take who exactly who the characters are, you know, you know exactly what they... You know, supposed to look like, but you portray them in it as in your image, man. Your wicked leprous ass image. And you think the Lord's gonna let that shit slide, man. The Lord said he's angry with the wicked every day, man. And he and he's reserved that judgment unto the wicked, you know, and it's coming. You know, your 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 time your time's coming, man. And you know yo, I wouldn't wanna be you, man. You know. You better be, you know, if you're a Jake out there, man, you you better pray you better pray. And bless you, Alba Shem Yashad, that you are Jake. You know, you know, you're not an Edomite, because you don't want to be in the Edomite in the Edomite shoes in the, in these latter days, especially going into the kingdom, because they, they ain't gonna get they ain't gonna get no mercy, man, not from the Lord or his or his children, man. No mercy, man. No. And then on top of that, after a thousand years, they're gonna get exterminated, man. That Doctor Who. And the, and the Daleks and shit. Exterminate, they exterminate. That's what's going to happen to you devils, man. You're going to be exterminated, man. Damn devils. But anyway, I'm going to close out on that. You know, just wanted to highlight that film. Probably going to watch it anyway. See the butchery and all that, you know. But they, 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 they're trying to, you know, put Jake's up in there as the disciples and even Puerto Rican brother as um, the Lord. Maybe Puerto Rican, I'm not too sure. You know, whether it's on the mother or father's side, but you know, the spirit will tell. But, um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm gonna look out for the movie, I'm sure brothers will look out for it too. But, um, anyway, I'm gonna close out, give all glory and praises to Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. Till next time, I say Shalom.